my name is Laura and today I want to talk about some of my pregnancy travel tips. So I went on a trip during my third trimester. At the time I was about 31 or 32 weeks pregnant and we flew from Vancouver, BC to Halifax, Nova Scotia. So we flew across the country pretty much. Just because I was in my third trimester, it was important for us to stay within Canada. Just in case I needed any medical attention, it would just be a lot easier being in Canada rather than being in another country. Obviously, check with your doctor first to make sure it's safe for you to go on a trip and safe for you to be on an airplane. My midwife gave me a printout of my pregnancy medical record so just in case I needed to go to a hospital, they would have all the information they need. So that was great and definitely ask for that from your doctor if you are planning a trip while you're pregnant. My husband and I just wanted to be able to go for one last fun vacation, just the two of us before the baby came. And I'm really happy we went on that trip, but it was difficult being pregnant. So I thought I'd share some tips that I learned from that experience. My first tip is to not expect any special treatment, but then you can be pleasantly surprised if you do get special treatment or if people go out of their way to help you. For example, at the airport, just because I was visibly pregnant, I was thinking maybe I'd get some kind of special treatment or, you know, free upgrade or they'd let us board first, but None of that happened. It was a very stressful and exhausting experience at the airport and it made me not want to take a flight again in a very long time. So yeah, just a heads up, uh, don't expect any special treatment at the airport. But then on the other hand, a lot of our Airbnb hosts were so sweet and went above and beyond to give me tips or help me out and that was really, really nice and unexpected. Some of my tips for being on a long plane ride would be to get an aisle seat. So that was really important because you might need to get up and pee often and it's easier to get up and stretch. If you have an aisle seat, it kind of gives you a little bit more space and you're not having to squeeze past people every time you want to get up. And I wore compression socks on the plane because I heard that that can help um, just with the circulation in your legs and even you know before our flight I was experiencing a lot of soreness and swelling and cramping in my legs and feet and compression socks do help with that so I definitely wore them on the plane and brought an extra pair just in case. I'm not sure if they helped or not but I was as comfortable as I could be packed on a squishy flight. Also bring lots of snacks and lots of water because you just never know how often they're gonna feed you on a flight, especially if a meal is not included. You don't really know if you're gonna get snacks or when you'll get snacks. So bring your own food and bring lots of water. And try to sleep on the flight if you can. It'll make the time go by faster and then you'll feel more rested when you get to your destination. I think it's really important to stay fit and active leading up to your trip. So I was going for long walks and just making sure I kept up my fitness level so that I would be able to go for long walks on our trip as well. It'll just be a lot easier to do everything you want to do on your trip if you are fit enough to do so. These are some summer specific tips. Drink lots of water, take lots of breaks, and don't push yourself too hard to do everything that you would normally do if you weren't pregnant. And bring a little spray bottle that you can keep cold water in and spray yourself down when you're out walking or you just need to cool down because it's hot out. Having a little spray bottle helped so much. I think the hottest day of our trip, it was 36 degrees Celsius and my husband just sprayed me down with the water bottle like every 10 minutes because we were out walking outside and that helped so much and people thought it was hilarious to see him spraying me and even one lady was like oh spray me too and Cody like sprayed this other lady and it was just so essential to have a spray bottle filled with cold water 
And my last tip is plan to do things that you enjoy that aren't too strenuous. For example, you could go to a museum, go for a short walk, go for ice cream, but don't plan to do a five hour hike. On our trip, I loved finding cute coffee shops to hang out in or wandering around a cute little town or just finding a shady windy spot outside to sit and relax with a book or you could journal or sketch. I loved just getting a chance to relax and chill out a bit. Don't feel like you need to fit too much into every day. Just kind of find a few things that you like doing that are relaxing and enjoyable for you. This is the first lighthouse of the trip in Peggy's Cove. a beautiful place to have a coffee. We got an ice latte, a cookie dough cupcake, and a score bar and chocolate covered peanut butter ball. This is so beautiful. Don't even worry about it. that these pregnancy travel tips were helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!